Where, where are you? Give us a sense of where the program is. Well, uh, we're at a very exciting point in our test flight program. Uh, we've been doing powered uh, test flights this year, as you know, and, and got up to about um, 170,000 feet, so you know, order of magnitude five or six times the altitude of what a uh, airliner uh, goes to. And we're about to get into the next phase of our test flight program, which will be uh, higher altitude and longer duration burns. Um, that's really one of the final phases before we go into uh, commercial uh, service. So, you know, it's been a long effort. I think all of these companies that are working on human spaceflight, you know, you, you hear um, some of the other folks talk about um, the challenges of putting together a human spaceflight vehicle. Um, and it's hard, but uh, I think we're nearly there, and, and that's an exciting point for us. So you think actual commercial operations out of Spaceport America sometime next year, perhaps? Yeah, we're getting real, real close to that. I mean, you know, the, the interesting thing is that, um, you know, the United States has been without human spaceflight for uh, several years since the retirement of the space shuttle. And, and within the uh, space of, you know, a year, probably, we're going to go from zero uh, to as many as four, uh, you know, three or four different um, human spaceflight vehicles. What an exciting time to be uh, in, in space, to have that profusion of different concepts coming out and, uh, and for the United States. You know, the United States is already the leader in launch, broadly speaking, but we'll, to, to sort of recapture the leadership in human spaceflight will be really great. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting too because we just had all of these NASA astronauts on stage uh, flying in commercial vehicles with Boeing and, and SpaceX under a NASA program, but it's entirely possible that uh, the people who re restore uh, human spaceflight from U.S. soil could be Virgin Galactic or Blue Origin, which is also trying to do it. I mean, I think that kind of tells us where we are, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, time will tell. Obviously, every flight that we do is crewed, you know, and so um, that means every flight that we do, you know, if it gets up to space altitude, will be will have humans on board. Our, our vehicle is piloted, right, and, and uh, two pilots in every spaceship flight. So, so that's an interesting thing, and, and you know, we're looking forward to, uh, to uh, getting to that stage.